TAXA, we're, we're proud and happy to be made in Space City, USA. I had these ideas at NASA, and now we're still in Houston putting these things together and getting them out in the world. The habitats that TAXA makes all started in my head with a certain idea of an ethos and a philosophy and a quality and a performance idea. But it's really the people out on the factory floor who, who live that ethos and philosophy, their attention to detail, their attention to quality, the testing we do, all, all combine to help us create a habitat that's, that's made for adventure. Many of the people who work out in our factory really are, are artisans. Um, some of them have been here for years and years uh, perfecting what we do. All, all the habitats we design at Taxa are very precise. They're precise in all the people and situations that we fit into them. They're precise in thinking about how, how and where they're going to go. And the way we build them reflects that because we want it to be safe and secure and sturdy um, at the same time that they're lightweight and efficient and multi-purpose. So we use um, you know, CNC lasers to cut out our skeletons, the lightweight metal framework. We use those same lasers capability in making little holes all over the place to hang a carabiner or a bungee net that are, are very useful even though, we have, even though we don't know what the people will use them for. We have lots of ideas. At Taxa, we build quality from the ground up. Um, our decking is made of a composite of ABS plastic and plywood and extra durable rubber flooring that's really easy to clean. Our panels are aluminum composite of Kynar painted aluminum and EPS foam and then aluminum again on the inside. Our tent sides are really durable and UV resistant, um, well, it should last a good long time and our roof gets back to the skeleton and composite panels again. At Taxa, we use both high technology and depend on the care and attention to quality of the people out in the factory. It's the combination of those two things that really make our habitats stand out from the crowd. It, it's a funny thing to me, trained as an architect and working with lots of industrial designers, that uh, we all get lost right in the middle of architects think about big things and get down to the width of a doorway and industrial designers think about small things that end up about body size and uh, designing small habitats is right in between. So we think a lot about how people move, the choreography of one or two or three people of different sizes or kids and adults in small spaces, which means we build full-scale mock-ups almost right away once we have an idea to see who bumps into each other in what way. We put the coffee machine in there, we have meetings, we push things around, we test things. Um, so we, we test through choreography because people are different, they move differently. Kids jump up and down on couches, adults slouch or sit up straight. Uh, there are big people and small people and people carrying grocery bags or people carrying ropes or backpacks. Um, that's how we design.